And now, Lifestyles Unlimited presents the Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Over the next hour, we unfold your map to financial freedom. You'll learn how to retire through investing in single family and multifamily real estate. You'll learn how to create cash flow and build wealth so you can have the time and money to live the lifestyle you want. Hello and welcome to the show. This is Andy Webb with Lifestyles Unlimited. And as always, we're working on your financial freedom. And boy, you got to love financial freedom. I know Al Gordon is. He is off again, traveling, doing something, living the lifestyle somewhere. So I am filling in today for Al on Tell Al Tuesday. And I'm excited to be here. I'm joined today by a very successful investor in my area. You know, Al's down in San Antonio. I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth uh, Metroplex, North Texas. And this investor, we're going to get his story. But I want you to know from the outset, he's done very well in both single family and multifamily. And within that apartment space, he's actually been on all three tracks that that we talk about on this radio program. He's done passive investing, is still doing passive investing, independent owner of his own communities and lead investor. So no matter which direction you plan to go as a real estate investor, this this is a guy you want to listen to, and this is a good guy to follow. So Benit, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate you for having me over here. Absolutely. And I've had the pleasure over the years to see you speak at various events. You've done the you know multifamily road trips. I actually attended one of the single family road trips at one of your properties. And, uh-huh, the uh, duplex. Yes, exactly right. <laughs> yep, the duplex you had just bought. It was you know it was in a state of disarray as these things tend to be. But uh, you always do a very good job of presenting information. And 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 like I said, you're a wealth of knowledge because you've been doing this as as long as you have. We may come back to that duplex, but. Before we get there and before we get to the apartments, I'd just like the listener to understand a little bit of everybody's background because everybody comes from a different place. And when you wind up at Lifestyles Unlimited, we all effectively get on one one of two paths, single family, multifamily, but headed for financial freedom. Before you got there, what were you doing in your in your past life, let's say? Well, on the past life, you know, um, I have done quite a few things. Uh, you know, I have actually my my personal, the, the, I, I don't want to share much, but I'll share again. But I started my life with the three dollars and thirty-five cents an hour. Okay, that's one of my starting point in, over here in the U.S. Right, um, we moved to U.S. in 1996 for my education and got my undergrad done. First undergrad in com- business computer information system. Unfortunately, market was very tight to get into the corporate world. So I continued my education in my second undergrad with logistics, supply chain management, hoping that I have a broader knowledge of you know, business and at the same time IT. Hopefully I'll land a job. So I did land a job, and the job was in basically operations, you know, sales and operations manager, expanding the business for existing, you know, uh, wireless company. You know, there was a – these two – open stores and provide service to, you know, single wireless uh, back in the days. And so I was involved in their opening new stores for them, new areas. So I learned a lot in two years time and a time frame, opened almost 10 brand new stores for them in Georgia uh, area. They they expanded in Georgia, so they shipped it to Georgia after training in Texas. And I was there for two years, two and a half years. And I was learning a lot, and I did pretty good. I always hit my numbers, you know, max out my numbers, getting bonus. But I was thinking that you know this is something that I'm good at. I can I can do myself. But at the same time, you know there was no path for me to do it myself. You know it was not like a someone said, hey, let's go do this way. You can be successful. But at that time, I realized that the company will not provide anything in my contract. There has never been a you know, partnership or sharing or, you know, any kind of a, uh, asset control, control some asset over there, like a, in the future, doesn't matter if I work for 20 years, right? I said, that's not what I want, because if I'm going to be giving 20 years of my life to a company, I want something in return, because if I want to build your business, I should have some mistake, right? Yeah, so but there's no upside, right? No, no upside. I mean, there is bonuses one time, but again, if I leave the job today, no bonus, nothing. But what what do you have? Yeah, you're, you're out. Nothing. Oh, so and yeah, then I decided to go back to IT and start, you know, exploring over there because IT background, all my friends and families in the IT background as well. So we thought, like, if I have some IT experience, maybe we'll just go into software business and we'll start because back in the day, software business was booming. 
But mm-hmm. again, we had good ideas. To be honest, you know, Andy, myself and my brother, we started like a Facebook situation in 2000, okay? And we were able to successfully expand that in, within the college. And we were thinking the nationwide college. So we had ideas, but we had no support system, right? The support system was missing with good ideas also. So when you have no support system, your ideas are worth zero dollar, right? But we were looking for that mentor who can actually guide us, right? And actually, it took me a long time to find that mentor to put me on a path of success, okay? So, yeah, I mean, after doing operations and sales, and I went to, you know, project management uh, position, and I managed projects for IT company, you know, implementation, you know, different development, upgrades, all those things were happening. But again, I was hitting dead end. Dead end. Again, because there's yeah. no, no growth. I mean, there's no one's going to give you saying, hey, you are a fantastic worker, great worker. Let me give you some ownership. No way, right? Yeah. Uh, all you're going to get your 401k, and if you have extra money left, you put in the IRA and, and move on. Uh, but, yes, yeah, definitely only eight to five. You, you don't have to worry, worry about so, anything else. But, but that's what was my life. Before. Yeah, you're, you're a corporate guy, right? You're a corporate yeah. guy. I think your bio said for a good dozen years. It's a oh, long yeah. time, yeah. you know, yeah. seeing that dead end. I hated those years. <laughs> I, was, I, I hated those years. You know, I, I think like I should be what I'm thinking that I should have been life class member in 2000 or 2003, 2004, 2005. And now I can go to corporate world, provide them consulting in a few hours a week and make money. Right. Just for fun. <laughs> yeah. If you want to do that, if that if that's your idea of fun, hey, be, be my guest. But but you did oh, find yeah. lifestyles. So what I'm just saying, just saying, because now I have no worries about retirement because I'm already retired. You want you want to pick my brain? I can let you pick my brain and pay me for that. Right. Yeah. I'm looking for someone. Absolutely. To By the way, where did you come from? I'm from Nepal. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of people that, that immigrate to the U.S. and, and eventually pick up the, the, the real estate hat because they see, you know, very entrepreneurial, right? And they see the vision, they see the opportunity there, and you saw that as well once once you got the support system and, and found that mentor. I heard you say that in the first segment, and I think that's probably important. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, you leverage that to get out of that corporate dead end. How did you find Lifestyles? Oh, man, it's a funny story. <laughs> I, I cannot still believe. Sometimes I feel like my... My luck and my destiny had it all planned out. So I was working for this company, uh, IT company, and uh, we had this new gentleman join and had a meeting with him. And uh, he was working this upgrade project, and I, you know, I was project manager. So we we're just looking at all these different hundred different hospitals. You know, we we're going to deploy certain things. And I was always, you know, after the meeting, I got frustrated. I'm like, man, you know, I just do this all day, same thing, and I'm just frustrated. This is not what I want. I mean, I want something else. I want something big, something that I can utilize my, you know. You know, your skills and grow big, you know, provide some support system for my, you know, my family if I have to leave my job or something. So he said, you know what, man, tonight is the night, he said. Tonight is the night. I'm going to take you someplace. You will thank me for that. And I'm like, man, don't don't take me some junk place. You know, I, I'm going to go home. I have a new, you know, two years old baby. My wife will be waiting. She's going to come from work and she'll be tired. I got to help as, as well. He said, man, just tell your wife. I just need to borrow you for two hours, okay? And I'm like, okay, that's fine. We'll make a deal. And I figure out my house is very close to the office, actually. So who was bringing me to Lifestyles case study? Uh-huh. And I said, you know what? Oh, it's on my path of home. So you know what? I'll do it. It's not like I'm going against the, you know, further away from my home. And I went there. Thank God I did that. That's one <laughs> small. That's just one. And I never knew about Lifestyles before. Nothing. I had zero idea. Okay. I came there. I had never heard the radio because I'm always, you know, self-contained. I'm thinking of myself. I'm the smartest one. I can do things. So I don't have to. I don't have to worry about listening to anybody and following anybody. So I was doing my own math, thinking about I'm going to open this business, this business, that business. So I could have been a dead by now if I had done that. And so he took me out there, but I did not believe that story. You know, when I got the case study. But I never, you know, I did network with a few people. I met some successful leads that time, and I went, you know, back to work. And I'm thinking, ah, I don't know if I can do it. I mean, you know, that's lots of money, man. Apartment complex, you know, these are millions of dollars, this and that. And I could not put my hand at my wrap, had my, you know, I couldn't wrap things around because I was doing my own. I had done retail business where I put my own money, two hundred thousand dollars, to start the business, right? So I'm thinking the same way that, okay, you guys are going to tell me, go buy this apartment. It's going to cost you $2 million, go buy it, right? 
But that was not the case because I did not attend the I had not attended the two day seminar, right? So I was in this dark area, and he kept telling me, "You should do it, man. You should do it. You're going to be doing." It. But he was doing passive investment that time, right? Okay. So, but he was just doing small passive investment, and you know, with some of the leads there. And but he encouraged me, and I'm like, you know, after a year passed, and I got laid off because we. And I was just tired. I'm like, okay, I got to leave, you know. I got to leave. I got to do something. I don't care if I have to stay home for six months and doing nothing. But I got to leave because this is my dead end. I mean, I'm not going to be able to survive like this. And I was working 40 hours but doing my job in 10 hours. I have to complete my work in 10 hours. But corporate world, you need, you need to be there because they can ping you anytime. Say, hey, provide this report, provide this report. So I go to my quarterly meeting and monthly meetings and the CEO and CFOs and We'll plan everything out, right? But again, I'm not a CFO. I'm a CEO, right? I could not get there because dead end. There is a director unless the director passes away. You can't be the new director unless you, that, that person leaves. But long story short, that day I came in, and thank God I came because after one year, I was still struggling to find a place to go. What do I do? Diamond business, you know, retail business, export import business, you know, medicine business. And my wife's like, you know, you had gone there and you paid that money, like $250 I paid for the two days class, and that I was expiring on the last weekend. I said, you know what? <laughs> Let me tap into that because I'm so stingy. I'm like, man, I'm, I paid that money and I have not got anything back from this guy. You know, let me see what is there. Man, thank God I was stingy because if I had let that thing go, I would never have been come back. You'd have missed it. Class yeah. David, yeah. David's class, and I took that class and. I saw that this simple math <laughs> that just opened my mind right away. I'm like, I'm done. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Man, so it took you a long time to draw that conclusion, which is unfortunate because we, we, you and I both know what's a common regret of investors. Well, I didn't oh, do it yeah. sooner, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> but you did it. You know, uh, and you know, I, I sometimes you have to be hit in the head until you, you know, come to realize. It. So I tell people, don't wait. I mean, if you have come to the case study, if you have heard something about it. Dig a little deeper. Don't ignore it. But my timing was kind of a situation, just to be honest. I mean, I, you know, I was working. My wife was working. We we're making good money. So it was not like something I was looking to make more money, but looking to have a better life, right? Because yeah. I knew the dead end jobs. Gonna, if they lay me off, if they get, if I quit my job, there's nothing next day. So I was just trying to build because my personality is like that. I could not stand still one place and do the same job every day, every day, over and over. I want to be exploring and finding new things and doing new things. So, and I was just still thinking, do I leave now? Do I not leave? Because I did not want to have a job and trying to start a business because I believe myself that if you don't put 200% of your energy in, in any of the business, you will not be successful, right? So I did not really, you know, start because once I got laid off, actually it was planned laid off, I feel like, you know what, I'm free now. I can do yeah. 200%. So I told my wife, you continue working. I'm going to go start with lifestyle, right? I'm going to start investing. I'm going to start learning. I'm going to put two years over here if I have to, to see where it takes me, right? And she said, go for it. And I was so stingy to pay the membership fee initially. I'm like, ah, oh, do I have to pay? Do I have to pay? I'm like, okay, pay. It's funny. Thank you're, God but you're willing to give up things. the job to focus the time, so you're giving up all this yeah. money on the side anyhow, but hey. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, I'm already not getting a paycheck, right? So I'd rather just go ahead and start over here and learn. And you know, when I saw so many good faces, I mean, people successful, enjoying life, and you know, I dipped into there. I'm like, oh my God, this is this is crazy. Yeah, you found if that support I, system. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, it was amazing, man. So I tell you to. Let me just interject here real quick, Benita. I don't want to, the listener to take the wrong message away here because you chose to leave that job that you hated anyhow and, and focus 100% of your time on real estate. That is not by any means anything most members do. You mentioned your friend that brought you from, from the corporate world to lifestyles. He was investing passively while working. That's what most of us yes, do, yes, right? Yes, so yes. Just, just to and be again, clear. Yeah, different, different people have different things because I had a mindset to do something different, right? So I took it different kind of a path. But that doesn't mean, you know, anybody should be quitting their job because I tell my passives, don't quit your job, make the money, invest, invest, yep. invest, you know, juice your corporate world as much as you can because you're going to bring the money and invest. Once you have finished investing and you see, figure out that you have cash flows coming, quit, right? So yep. it's a different path. I'm talking from, you know, lead uh, prospect sure. right now, not from the passive. So, yeah, quick break. We're going to head into the middle of the show here. When we come back, let's get into those first investments because you moved really fast once you got moving. So, we want to hear about that.
Got questions? Call Lifestyles Unlimited at 855-497-4335. The Real Estate Investor Radio Show continues next. Well, one thing it has meant for us, and we have to compliment you, you've given us our time back. And I say our time because we got married 33 years ago, and we got married in July. Do you know why? Well, that was before I met Lifestyles. I used to work for Ford Motor Company. And with Ford Motor Company, I was uh, in the automotive division. They have shut down during July, the first two weeks of July. So, so you had, had to wait for down, a shutdown to get married? Yes. Yes, he actually Whoa, changed. that's dedication there. <laughs> he made me change our wedding date. It was supposed to be June 15th, and I changed. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so if I had been in lifestyle, I could have gotten married when I wanted to. <laughs> and the ring would have been bigger. <laughs> Thank you. Ready to get your time back like Vivian and Cornell? Register for the free online workshop at lifestylesunlimitedworkshop.com. Creating the lifestyle you've always wanted. You're hearing Lifestyles Unlimited's Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Andy Webb. I am filling in today for Al Gordon on Tell Al Tuesday. If you have any questions, you can send those to me. My email is askandy at l-u-i-n-c dot com. Again, askandy at l-u-i-n-c dot com. And I'm joined by Benit today. He's also here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area where I sit. And Benit, we didn't really name any dates, but looking at your bio, it says you joined Lifestyles. Finally went to that two-day, right? And, and actually jo joined then in September of 2014. And I, I mentioned going into the break that, boy, once you got over that, that initial hump of really kind of just not paying attention at all, not looking at the group, you know, joining and sitting around, then you really went fast. And in fact, it says that you got into your first passive investment two weeks after finally committing, right? So how did that go? Oh, that had a, it was a game changer, actually. So once we, once I got that uh, passive investment done, you know, I saw the potential, you know, that my small money can make lots of money, right? Uh, because the group is a tremendous power, the power of the group and, the, and also the leveraging, right? That really put me in a path of thinking that, you know what, this is where I belong. You know, this is what I can do. I can use my energy, my, my quality, my experience, and come out here and make my life better, right? You know, I don't have to worry about thinking that, oh, I'm sitting on the desk and now what to do now. I'm actually planning three years, four years ahead of the game, right? So what I want to do, how I'm going to, how I'm going to execute, what I want to learn, whom I want to meet. So uh, the, the power of networking, power of leverage, power of mentoring and, you know, education really put me in a different path in within a week to two weeks. And that's why I started exploring, you know what, uh, I think I can learn to be a leader as well, not only the passive, right? So I start, you know, knocking doors of mentors constantly. Show me, show me more, show me more. Yeah, show use the more, resources. Right? Sure, yeah. absolutely. You should, you should use yeah. those resources. Too many people don't, yeah. by the way. I mean, to be honest, that's the that's the biggest disadvantage. Disadvantage. Lots of people don't realize that it's you who has to take the step. You know, Dell or and the mentors cannot come and knock your door because that's not their job to knock your door. They are there to you go knock their door and learn as much as you can. Because if you're not going to learn something then you can't be successful, you know, and you've got to ask the questions. Don't be shy. Any question is a good question, right? I was asking some questions that I never thought I would be asking. I'm like, oh, man, that's the dumbest question. But that was the best question for me, you know? Yeah. And asking, yeah. hey, can I do this one? I was, like, scared to even ask, can I be a lead? And thank God I asked for that, right? <laughs> when I asked, I said, yes, you can be a lead. you got to show your, you know, strength. What you can do? I mean, learn all these things right here. And, you know, in, within a few months, I'm ready. Right? I'm yeah. learning every day, you know, trying to make sure that I have the right information and looking how to search for property, how to operate, how to manage, how to keep the books, you know, how to you know, keep all the taxes done. I mean, the whole nine yard was taught within the three months period, right? Yeah, you learned and, that through the education at Lifestyles, you mean? Yeah, at, at yeah. Lifestyles. I mean, we went through a step-by-step -step process, and that really boosted my confidence right away that, yes, it is, uh, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and I think we can do it. And I picked up the first property, and from there, I never had to look back. I mean, yeah, you it just 
you did, I mean, to my point, you went very fast. You got in that first passive investment in, in two weeks. That means you understood. You saw, what, right? You said you, yourself, you saw the numbers and, wow, realized. And you said something in an earlier segment. You said, you know, millions of dollars to, to, to invest in an apartment complex. It doesn't take that when we're syndicating, no. when we're putting together these these investments for passive to, to participate. I mean, Benita, I got in one for, I think, 25K. I've seen investors do less. Some do more, right? Some do more. Hey, but I, I just closed the deal, uh, 230 units. Right, 300, 320 units. I'm a little dyslexic sometimes. So I think this <laughs> gotcha. uh, 320 units, and my lowest one. I don't want to tell you where that's how it's supposed to go, but I had an investor who, you know, say, "Hey, I got 20k, man. You know, I know your number is high, but I have known him. I say, you know what? I'm okay. I can bring 20k. Bring it. Yeah. We'll what was it? The, right? What was the What was the purchase price on that? Uh, that purchase price, 50 million dollars. Wow. But here you got yeah. somebody participating with 20K. I think that's the point. Yeah. Yeah. And and I know you've gotten some really – so let's let, let, let's talk about that. You, you did that first lead investment, not even uh, three quarters of a year after getting into that first passive uh, uh, opportunity. Fast forward, you've done quite a few lead deals, and you just mentioned you closed on your latest one. How many, how many is that now? How many have you done as a lead? I mean, as a lead, seven syndication. Okay. And then I have done three small properties, me and my brothers, you know, that's like Iro. Yep. I have done, you know, multiple, like eight or eight, I think, uh, as a KPS supported the deal. And I also provided you know, that's passive as well. And, you know, done multiple, multiple passives. So I've been fortunate enough to make sure that I made the good decision at that time. You know, you got to get in there and constantly invest time to learn and find the deals and get the job done because you got to find what you like, right? So I knew what I want, and I knew what, what areas I want to invest. So you you get to learn that by attending all the case studies because you can see the results from different areas, and you know, you got to pick your poison, like which one is the best for me, right? And you can continue investing it because number if number works, it's all good. As a passive, I don't care to invest anywhere in the nation. I don't mind investing. But as a lead, I just stayed in local because I like to touch and feel the property, right? Uh, but overall, I, I – did not stop investing. You know, any money that came back to me as a refinance or sale, I'll redeploy that within a few months. I'll be staying, stand by, finding a deals what I'm going to spend. I want to send the money right away. Yeah. And same thing with my investors over here in this new deal. They figure out that we'll have a deal coming up, and they knew about the deal. Come, you know, I'm putting the project together, and they had timeline saying, you know what? We are liquidating this right here, and I'm going to turn that money over here right away, right? Defer my taxes, get my de depreciation, and write off the stuff and not pay taxes and move on, right? So people are lining up to make sure they use to flip the money from here to here and continue getting a cash flow. So that's what I plan out, figure out the path. I figure out the, you know, the perfect way to continue investing, and that's because the mentors provided us support. You know, education. I mean, I, I'm sometimes I get tired of getting all this education. Like so much education from lifestyles, man. I'm like, every day there is something. You know, you guys are feeding us, and I'm like, oh my god, some more information. Here you go. I have not even done. I have not even opened my browser, and I'm getting fed with the new information every day, right? I mean, that's like a luxury. I wake up and I have new information to learn without even, you know, calling anybody, right? Because that's the system that people don't realize sometimes that information that comes through comes from lifestyles. Aside from investing passively, and that means just putting your money in the investment, sitting back, and aside from investing as a lead, which is a syndicator, you're kind of like the project manager controlling the investment. You're also an IRO, and that stands for independent rental owner. That's just doing your own thing without investors. You're the the sole owner, or maybe you have a have a partner. Great way to go. Uh, so a couple of terms that the listener may not know, but we do talk about that going back to education. That's something you become very much fluent in. Uh, as a member at Lifestyles Unlimited. So great stuff. You have you really have done it all. And I want to ask you, you know, we, we, we heard, you know, what has it been? You joined about nine years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. You've done seven uh, investments where you are the lead. You're still hanging on to six of those, if I'm reading this correctly. <laughs> yeah. That seems like a challenge. How are you managing six different apartment communities right now? Well, that's what happens when you have proper guidance, you know, proper knowledge, and if you buy the right product, you can continue because my, our goal is to defer the taxes as long as Pat, you know, we can. You know, definitely we, that's not the practice everybody should be doing, you know, but if, you, if one can handle it, definitely, because these are smaller properties, 
And they actually, once you fix them, once you operate them well, they cash flow and you can refinance. So lots of people don't realize the power of refinancing, cash out refinance. No taxes on that refinance, right? absolutely. That's the beauty. I mean, the the first property that I have bought, we have already distributed more than 450% return. And I'm doing 20% cash and cash return. If I sell that deal today, right? I'll get 200 more percent return to my investors, but then we we have to do the 1040 exchange or pay the taxes. But we don't worry about paying taxes because we buy a new deal and we defer our taxes again by taking the depreciation, right? Yep. But I, I figure out these are self-sustained properties. So this is a unique situation. I'm not telling everybody to do what I have done because these are unique product, not like regular you know transaction products. Because I happen to know the residents, I happen to know everything about the product, and we have enough money always saved up. So basically, I restart the you know point. So we go through a cycle. Instead of selling it, we refinance it, right? And then we restart again, the refinance, because we put money, a little bit of money back into the deal just to continue maintaining the deal. So instead of just buying a new product, right, we just recycle the same product constantly and put money out. Defer the taxes forever, keep cash flowing, right? And, you know, when you have a good team, and that comes out of it, do you have a good team in your pocket that can operate the property, right? If you don't have a good team, then nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. Everything will be all impossible. It doesn't matter if you just buy one property or 10 properties. You cannot be successful unless you have a good team. When the properties are doing very, very well, and we know we have a time, and we have a good loan, right? So if you have a five to seven years loan, and if you can cash out the majority of the money, and luckily for me, I've been cashing out more than 100% of the equity, right? So what we put. So all of those properties are free. Standing out there, we're just cashing out every day. You know, only last two properties that right now we have are not cashed out. Otherwise, every single property has been cashed out. Some of the properties, you know, we'll definitely liquidate, but we have to wait for the timing. You know, you don't want to just rush and sell something just because you want to sell. My first apartment investment as a passive, we sold after, I think it was like 16 months, 100% mm-hmm. some change return. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. That that fit that model, that fit that location. Because we have made enough money. And I, to be honest, if I just reinvest that money right now, I don't have to worry about fine. anything. I can just take off yeah. today and fly around the world. Um, good plans. Good plans. Yeah, you're from Nepal. If you go home, it's kind of hard to manage a property from, from Nepal if you go over there to visit, isn't it? Very true. Very true. I mean, <laughs> time difference, 11 hours, right? Yeah. So actually... I was I was in Nepal back in March. Unfortunately, had a you know in, incident in our family, and but I still had to operate. So I'll I'll stay up till four in the morning, you know, working, and then I'll go to bed at four in the morning. Yeah. Sometimes five in the morning because that's all day here. So I have to support the system, right? But not every day. But I'm always a person like who wants to be you know engaged. Unfortunately, so we have camera systems. We have everything. We have you know phone works over there, but. It is still up and up all night, light on light to provide the support. So now, when I retire 100, percent I mean, it's just being passive. I yeah. have to worry about you know yeah. those parts. So yeah. passive is the way to go. Passive yeah. is the way to go. Yeah. Very good. Just a, a quick aside yeah. before we headed to the end of the show. We were traveling in Nepal, my wife and I. We actually leased one oh, of our single wow. family. Yeah, we leased one of our single family houses from over there. It can be done. <laughs> you know, it's a little tough in the middle of the night, but hey. Benit, wow, you have a lot of energy and a lot of information, and I love talking with you, and I look forward to seeing you on one of our next single-family or even multi-family road trips. I know you do both, and I love that you give back. I thank you for doing that, and thank you for joining us today. To the rest of you, have a great day. The information and opinions you hear on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.